It's interesting because you use the term brand to demand, and we talked a lot about that at IBM. I'm a firm believer in that. When I use that term, everyone seems to respond positively to it, but it's not as widely uh, familiar as I thought it might be. It's one of those terms where you're like, we were just talking about it all the time, but it's not, it's, it's this thing that <laughs> all the time. to us felt it was just a no brainer and common sense, but it's not always the way that everyone thinks. And the power of brand to demand is that even when you're doing a brand activation, you're thinking about how it lands in the business. And mm -hmm. I think that is an important standard to hold. And it, it really speaks to thinking about the full connected customer journey. Yeah, I think you're totally right, but it's typically that work can feel very disjointed, right? Especially in a large organization, you've got different agencies working on different things. Nothing looks the same. It just gets very muddy and messy. And the bigger your organization is, the messier that can feel. I think part of the benefit of the brand demand mindset was there's a creative layer to that. And then I think there's a operational layer. The creative layer is does the work from the TV spot or the big brand activation all the way down to the email or the demand tactics, does it feel and look similar? It's all from that same brand or not. And then the, from an operational perspective, it's do you really understand the touch points that happen after each component of that branded demand strategy? So right. if it is a branded activation at a football field. What is the touch point that you can create with your partners in, in demand marketing or in product marketing that helps move them one step further into a journey? Yeah. And I think that's the challenge is teams don't always think or work together. We have our own organizations. We have our own mission and vision and strategies and KPIs. I had that for social product marketing, had that brand had that, and you have these different goals and they're all great and they're important and the intention is right. But if you're not actively going out into the organization and stewarding connectivity, right. then you leave all of those touch points somewhere else. And so yep. I, I think that's the myth. How do you really capitalize on what you're doing? To me, that's what branded demand is ultimately about. Yeah.